ಪುಣ್ಯನಾಂಬುಜ ಪೂಜಿತ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೈರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಂ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ನೀಜ ಓಲ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಓಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೌಡ್ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಆತ್ಮಿಕ ಚೋಲಿ ಬ್ರೇಸನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮುಕ್ತಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ತ್ ಬರ್ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಾದಾ ಖಾಚರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬರ್ತ್ಡೇ so first we pray to lotus feet of muktanan swami namo muktananda prabhu padatana sevak sada maha shastra abhyasi vyarthan gumave padakada kare varta jyare sur sarit dhara samavahe ಕುಸಂಗೀ ಸತ್ಸಂಗೀ ಸಕಲ ಜನ ಚಿತ್ತೆ ಅತಿ ಚಹೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮುಕ್ತಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಬೈ ಔರ್ ವನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಿಹರಿಲಾಲ್ ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮುಕ್ತಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ our first guru and the ocean of virtues we cannot just as we cannot measure the himalaya even though we can we can reach up to the mount everest the highest peak of the himalayan range still we cannot measure we cannot grasp or we cannot conclude the horizon uh, the total measurement or the vastness of himalaya in the same way we can never 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 measure or we cannot attain even the half or even the slightest virtues from the life of sadguru muktanand swami but just as from the ocean person cannot use the water of ocean directly but after purif- purifying it meaning after making some process human can use the ocean water as a drinking water who has the capa- capacity of purifying the water more he can use the ocean water more in the same way we have a capacity to see the divine virtues of muktanand swami if we can more we can have more capacity to see or realize his divine qualities and more than that if we have much more capacity to imbibe those virtues in our own life then we can get benefit from muktanand swami's divine life sadguru muktanand swami he was not only a person he was not a sant but we can say that muktanand swami meaning this is not a name this is not only the name of a person or a sant but this itself particular word which indicate or which describe the term of saintliness in our swaminarayan sampraday on the same day before 258 years in a small and tiny village near Am- amreli in gujarat the name of the village was amrapur and in that village from a uh, ve- uh, from a very pious brahmin family 
Muktanand Swami manifests there as a son of Radha Bai and Anand Ram. From his childhood, Muktanand Swami had a virtues of detachment. He didn't want to remain in social life. He wanted to renounce the worldly life and accept a life of renunciation. He wanted to attain eightfold celibacy and that's why he always desired to have a company of such a such an ekandik sant or bona fide guru so that he can lead his own life on the path of celibacy for searching of complete and perfect guru muktanan swami renounced his home his family his relatives even his father and mother had decided his marriage and they had completed the ceremony of his marriage still muktanan swami as his child childhood name was mukundas mukund he had no kind of interest or we can say he has no attachment with his body relatives and that's why he can easily renounce all family members or relatives everybody now after that he was searching for complete and perfect bona fide guru so that he can live a perfect renunciant life muktanand swami first went to one of the guru his name was kasidas after one month he pay all his service and everything but after that when one day he asked his guru about the rules and regulations and how one can attain eightfold celibacy then his guru denied that this is not possible in this age of kali now thereafter his guru himself sour muktanand swami the another guru his name was kalyandas now muktanand swami went there the same thing happened after months when muktanand swami asked his guru about the celibacy and how one can attain god or god realization then again his second guru he also denied and he sent him to another guru his third guru his name was tulsidas in sardar there mukundas as an aspirant a perfect aspirant he obey each and every command of his guru still mukundas couldn't satisfy his question of celibacy now he he decided I have no any other scope because I have changed three to four places still I have no any kind of guidance or no idea now I stay here for a long time and my uh, according to my own practice and as I have the strong desire to attain eightfold celibacy so God will definitely help me and by thinking in this way he stay there then he attained the company of some devotees from ramanand swami ramanand swami was also a sadguru in the same village in sardar in this way mukundas attained a perfect sant perfect bona fide guru in the form of ramanand swami in the in the case of raman and swami mukundas didn't ask him any question or not tested him nothing but when first mukundas got the darshan of raman and swami and when he listened even a few words from raman and swami at the same time a divine and eternal peace realized in the heart of mukundas 
and by this realization mukundas decided this is a perfect guru and he himself decided to surrender all of his remaining life to ramanand swami and after that he renounced everything even his own idea his own thought everything and whole the life mukunda mukundas did what ramanand swami said and then after ramanand swami accepted him as his uh disciple and give him diksha and name him Muk- muktanand swami after that muktanand swami follow each and every command of ramanand swami and as muktanand swami was not like an ordinary sant or ordinary man he was directly coming here from aksardham and that's why ramanand swami also knew about this uh, about this uh, secret we can say it, uh, that muktanand swami was not like a man and that's why Muk- uh, ramanand swami appointed the head of the ashram in lodge to muktanand swami now there muktanand swami lived along with 50 other sadhus and once upon a time bhagwan swami narayan as a nilkant varni he came there and only and only because of muktanand swami's saintliness and muktanand swami's perfect gurunishta and we can say his perfect knowledge maharaj in the form of nilkant varni stay in our satsang in a lodge this is what we enjoy the supremacy and the eternal knowledge and divine peace in our satsang because of maharaj but behind that if muktanand swami was not there in lodge then nilkant varni was not stay there in a lodge but as nilkant varni got such a sant like muktanand swami then he stay there then after but now just remember what is impo- what is today's important of muktanand swami muktanand swami was pre- manifested on this earth before 200 more than 250 years and even he already disappeared from this earth still why we are celebrating his birthday why we are enjoying and dancing on his birthday and celebrating with a cake cake cutting and everything why even there were so many persons like politically great some of uh, uh many scientists they are also very very popular many actors they are very popular in the movies there are many many kind of many categories in the world for the uh, popularity of a person but still no one can today celebrating one's birthday after his death just for an example in india people celebrate gandhi ji's or sardar patel's birthday but not by cake cutting or not by celebrating just as we are celebrating muktanand swami's birthday they are just uh celebrating the great politicians or great leaders birthday by only enjoying the holy days and even no one in us or no one in the any part of the world today celebrate anybody's birthday who is not present on this earth but this is a unique system of our sampraday to celebrate our great sadguru's birthday because we believe specifically our swaminarayan sampraday we believe that not maharaj and not his ekantik santo meaning muktos they never went back from this earth to aksardham 
even though we can see we we cannot see him face to face meaning as a human form still they always present in our satsang this is what our belief and this is unique belief in not in hinduism but also in vaishnavism we believe our satsang is of pragat that is why even today we realize the same saintliness we realize today the same virtues just as we see in the life of muktanand swami the same virtues and same saintliness in life of our puja guru ji no doubt muktanand swami is our first guru in our line of guru parampara not only that but when we see virtually meaning if we pond uh, we realize more and more in guruji's life then we can easily find out many many incident the incident happened in the life of muktanand swami and the same incident we can see in the life of our puja guruji when we compare those incident then we realize that our guruji is not an ordinary sant or he is not simply an ekantik sant but he is like muktanand swami he has the same virtues like that of muktanand swami just we compare one incident from life of muktanand swami once upon a time muktanand swami was in vartal maharaj was also there with thousands of santos and devotees then news came to maharaj that 200 vairagi babas with weapons they come here to kill us now maharaj had already parsados and kathis they have also weapons and they are very brave and they know all kinds of war strategy and everything but still maharaj says this is a this is such a situation that we cannot stay here call muktanand swami muktanand swami came to maharaj please maharaj then maharaj said this is what the situation a group of 200 babas they came here in vartal and they wanted to kill us everybody now we all we all went off from here and you are alone here you can tackle the situation now suppose you think you are in a building there there was no one and you got a message that some terrorists attack on that building what would you think this is what the situation muktanand swami has but muktanand swami asked for some stuff like a coconut some crystal sacker and one or two garlands and muktanand swami said okay maharaj you all of you go now now muktanand swami sat there and when muktanand swami saw from a very distance that a group of those babas they are entering in mandir campus then muktanand swami himself go forward to them and he himself garlanded with a flower garland to the head of those group even though they have weapons they have they have very anger nature and they are citing loudly like maro kapo still muktanand swami was there with a garland in his hand and he garlanded the head of the group of these babas and offer him this coconut and crystal sacker and in this way 
Muktanand Swami with his polite words Muktanand Swami said you are like a attendance of Vaikuntha Nath and you are like a attendance of Yamaraj meaning Dharmaraj so even those bhavas cannot understand but as muktanand swami saintliness and his divine words is such that all the groups they become very calm at the same moment their anger everything become very calm there is nothing now the head of the those bhava he announced this is muktanand and he is the head of this sampraday as he is such a polite and he is such a virtuous then what about his god swami narayan and in this way muktan swami after this incident feed all those bavas and vairagis and uh, he himself uh give all the respect and everything to those bavas and bavas also respect uh, they also even believe in their mind that nor bhagwan swami narayan nor his santo are bad but they are virtuous now let we come to present times incident we have the same incident in the life of our puja guruji before guruji we can discuss the same incident in life of our puja dada guruji once upon a time a great celebration a great festival decided to do in mumbai there a group of another religion uh, another religious persons they came there and with a, some kind of weapon they wanted to try off and messed up all these arrangements and everything they wanted to stop the celebration now as group is coming uh, is entering to our premises and they are loudly citing and uh, speaking very bad words and everything so the devotees only just inform dada guruji but they said we now this is this is the situation and we should stop our celebration because they can do anything and then dada guruji said no i want to meet them but the duty said no they have weapons they can even kill you but dada guruji said no i want to meet them and dada guruji went there in front of those group of a person they have the weapons in their hands and dada guruji had nothing but only a mara or bhagwan swami narayan in his hand now when dada guruji reached there in front of the gate the group of this another religious person when they saw dada guruji what happened nobody know but as they entering while citing and speaking loudly very bare words and they have weapons everything they have anger in their mind everything remained stop everything immediately stop when they got the darshan of dada guruji then they fell and they touched the dust from dada guruji's feet and they asked for forgiveness what was happen nobody even today know but this is the saintliness of dada guruji just as the same saintliness we can see in the life of muktanand swami the same saintliness we can also enjoy we can also see in the life of dada guruji now the same incident compare with this the incident in life of our guruji once upon a time when guruji was chairman of vartal temple board at the time he had to go to recover the land of one of the mandir in madhya pradesh in central india there there was not a big town but small village 
and mandir was also small but the murtis in the mandir was given uh, murtis of Lux, uh, lakshmi and narayan were given by bhagwan swami himself to establish there in mandir and the mandir had some land in the village but some of the villagers they have uh, they have the possession of that land so now guruji wanted to recover the possession and as he was a chairman at that time so he himself went there on the place there at night as those uh, very bad persons they knew that the some uh, one of the sons from vartal they he came here to recover his land of mandir and because of that purpose they came to meet guruji at night but at the time they all have drink alcohol very uh, in very much quantity they have weapons they wanted to kill guruji if sant couldn't stay there then who can dare to recover their land and in this way the group of 7 to 10 such mad persons they came where Guruji was staying in a house. As Guruji got some sign and some sound as those per- those those group of people with a weapon in their hand and they are they were drunkards and they are citing very bad words. So Guruji opened the window and he saw the he got the situation now the devotees he totally uh, he uh, the devotee who was in a house he said guruji please close the windows and close the doors do not go outside they have weapons and they they were drunkards and they were very bad person in this area so they they will kill you but Guruji said, no, I want to meet them. And Guruji himself opened the door and go outside from the door, uh, from the room. And from the house, Guruji closed the door. Now there, on one side, those seven to ten drunkards, they have weapons. And they were speaking very bad words. And on another side, Guruji alone. He was nothing in his hand. He was only one thing. Bhagwan's Swaminar in his heart and his holy name on his tip. Now, only by getting darshan of Guruji, all those, even though they were drunkards, they have under the influence of alcohol, still they fell in, into lot of feet of our Puja Guruji and they put their weapons aside. Not only that, but next day in the morning, all those who came with a weapon at night to kill Guruji, they all came at the same place after bathing, after wearing new clothes and everything and they asked for forgiveness. To Guruji, to Guruji, and uh, then after Guruji himself gave them names of not to drink alcohol, not to eat meat, and after that, after giving those names, Guruji himself give uh, <coughs> give them all the countries and. Uh, the Sikshapatri and Guruji himself went to one by one their homes and sanctified their homes with Padramni. In this way, Guruji had totally changed their life. 
and today they all become devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. This is what the magic of saintliness, and that is why we can say Muktanand Swami was a live even today, even though he was manifested before 250 years, but still. He never passed away, he never passed away, never passed away from this earth. He only disappeared as his form he had taken as at the time of birth. But his divine qualities, his divine virtues, his divine nishtha towards Bhagwan Swami Narayan, his Guru Nishtha, everything is remained today. We can easily realize, we can easily feel this in life of our Pucha Guruji. The same Nishtha, just as Muktanand Swami had towards Bhagwan Swami Narayan, towards his Guru Ramanand Swami, the same Nishtha we can see in life of our Pucha Guruji towards Bhagwan Swami Narayan and towards his Guru, meaning our Dada Guruji. This is the reality, and that is why we as a disciple, as a follower of Bhagwan Swaminarayan and Swaminarayan Sampraday. We believe in Pragat Satsang. This is the Pragat or presence of Muktanand Swami. In this way, this is what Muktanand Swami's brief life and his divine virtues, how we can realize, eat, realize those divine virtues even today from the life of Pujya Guruji. Now, today the another birthday of Dada Khachar. Dada Khachar, when we listen this word, when we listen Dada in Gujarati, then everybody, most of the person, they have image of uh, an old person in their mind. White hair, very small eyes, curly skin, very rough skin, he cannot walk properly, cannot listen properly and cannot see easily. This is what the image of Dada in everybody's mind. But this Dada is totally different. When Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself go back to Akshardham, meaning disappear from this earth as a human, at the time, Dada Khachar's age was no more than 29 years. And when he got first darshan of Maharaj, his age was no more than 3 to 4 years. in between meaning duration of 25 years Dada Khachar had attained such a great qualities in his life and he attained such a Rajipo of Maharaj and Nan Santo that he he can become a symbol of a perfect deity even today in our satsang and when we open any single book of our Sampraday. There is no book in our Sampraday. It has not mentioned any incident of Dada Khachar or not mentioned a name of Dada Khachar. Once, Muktanan, uh, once Maharaj asked Muktanand Swami who is the greatest devotee in our satsang, then Muktanand Swami also, uh, also give his decision that Dada Khachar is the number one devotee in our satsang. Not only that, but even Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself stayed there in a house of Dada Khachar most of his life on this earth. More than 29 years, Maharaj stayed there in Gadara in Dada Khachar's Darbar. And whenever we open Vachnamruts, then the highest numbers of Vajnamrut also spoken in Dada Khachar's, Dada Khachar's Darbar. Not because of Maharaj staying there in house of Dada Khachar, but because Maharaj 
forever staying in his heart and that is why dada khachar is a very very great duty of bhagwan swami narayan today let we pray because muktanand swami and dada khachar both like an ocean of virtues we cannot measure their virtues or their virtuous life but we only pray to our muktanand swami and dada khachar if they source some grace for us then and then we can also attain some qualities the qualities they have possessed we can attain the same qualities in our life if we attain even one or two qualities they have then maharaj will very much please upon us and by that we can easily attain divine eternal please not after passing away meaning not after the death but even in this life by saying this with a very very respect and done worth to muktanand swami and dada khachar we conclude today's discussion jai swami